Um, so I grew up in Nebraska and as the second oldest of four boys. The family moved to Scott's Bluff when he was one year old. He attended St. Agnes through the third grade. His family then moved to David City, Nebraska. And high school activities included football, baseball, wrestling, basketball, track, cross country, speech, one act plays, musicals, band, and 4-H. I know, I can't believe that. How did he do all that? It's amazing. Um, at the age of one, he knew what he wanted to be when he grew up. He graduated at the top of his class from David City and Kiwanis High School. Next came Chevron State, where he was part of the CSC Health Professions Club, Blue Key National Honor Society, and was a resident advisor at the dorm. He met the love of his life while being a teacher's assistant and mentor for anatomy and physiology class. He was also homecoming king. My watch just went off. I hit 10,000 steps. <laughs> <laughs> he received his Bachelor of Science in Human Biology in um, 2001 with um, magna cum laude distinguished honors. The next stop was the University of Nebraska Medical Center where he received his doctorate of physical therapy uh, degree in 2004, magna cum laude. June of 2004 found him working in Sydney at Memorial Health Center as a physical therapist for five years. December 2009 brought him to Gehring and Monument Physical Therapy. He was instrumental in remodeling the former Bush's Gaslight Restaurant. In March of 2018, he started his own business, Bluffs Physical Therapy, but quickly outgrew his space. He designed a new building that now houses an additional business, Hydrozen. He and his wife, or excuse me, he and his staff and family celebrated with a business after hours in August of 2020. He is active in his professional association, Nebraska Physical Therapy Association, and American Physical Therapy Association at the local, state, and national levels. He has received numerous additional certifications and continues to focus on expanding his knowledge. Through training, and he gives his patients the latest and most effective evidence-based treatment. This rising star's greatest asset is his commitment to serving his community as evidenced by his list of volunteerisms. To name a few, the Color Dash, Pause for Pause, Habitat for Humanity, and the National, or excuse me, the annual Northfield Elementary Marathon. He is involved with the Chamber of Commerce, having served as the board chair in 2018. Other organizations include Rotary, Carpenter Center, Knights of Columbus, Thanksgiving in the Valley, Toys for Tots, Monument Marathon, Race Crew for all 10 years, and he's um, chair of the Gearing School Foundation Board. Gearing High School Booster Club, where he is the current president and leadership, leadership Scott's Club alumni. He, always, he has always been very active. He began running competitively after his cousin was tragically, tragically killed in a four-wheeler accident. His family decided to run in a marathon relay to live life to the fullest, as John always had. From then on, he had a desire to push himself to set new goals. He knows that movement is medicine and is dedicated to, living, to that living example. He has completed numerous half, full, and ultra marathons and 200-mile relays. Most recently, he completed a 100-mile ultra marathon in the Black Hills. He is deeply dedicated to his faith and to his wife and four sons. His wife shares a fun fact that many of us might not know. He was a participant in many uh, musicals when he lived in Dalton, including Greece and Oklahoma. <laughs> and he has a beautiful singing voice, so we might have to hear that tonight. <laughs> he loves his job, his amazing team, and his clinic, and he works to make his patients feel better while giving back to the community and making family a priority. Lisa, thank you for sharing him with Western Nebraska. Please welcome Mike Moravec.
think I've done something with my hair. <laughs> so anyways, uh, thank you. I mean, this is not anything I ever expected. Uh, I just <clears throat> I just get up here and do what I do every day. I don't think anything of it. <clears throat> my parents are here. That's crazy. Uh, you know, I, <clears throat> excuse me. So I grew up. I just, you do what you do, and uh, that's one of the things I always learned. It's not, uh, it's not for any of, the, any of the glory or any awards, which is really, really nice. Um, you know, uh, if you're going to be a part of a community, you, you can't do it without being out there and doing things. And so I just <clears throat> learned from example, and I uh, hope my kids can do the same. And, uh, <clears throat> I want to thank my wife. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> it's uh, it's a blessing that I get to spend every day with you. Uh, I'm blessed, and I'm blessed. With, I, I have a, a bunch of mentors out here. I can look at every single little ounce, little, little speck in this room, and I know everybody here. Uh, it's it's just been an honor to uh, take after the people in this room, and. Uh, and just learn what you do. That's that's just what I do, um, and, and I, I appreciate that. And I hope that um, my kids will do the same. And I hope that uh, my team, my awesome team, thank you guys. I mean, <clears throat> without you guys, I'm nothing. You know, I'm absolutely <laughs> nothing. Without my family, I'm nothing. Uh, so <clears throat> without battling on any, any more than I already am, if I make any sense, great. <laughs> I doubt I am. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> but I appreciate it and I uh, thank you for the uh, recognition and I'd say breaks are on me but I don't think I can pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again.